Hey guys, um, this is going to be a real fast update on this thing. I'm still waiting on the wire for the, rear, for the rear wheels and tires. They are still going on. And for those of you who hasn't seen those, I'll go ahead and show them to you. Here's one of the rear wheels. And there's the tire. That's, that's what we're going to run on this thing. They're basically brand new Mastercraft uh, Glacier Grips. Yeah, still waiting on the wire for my welder to do that. But you may be seeing this thing, wondering what that is. I'll tell you what that is here in a little bit. And you see these wires hanging out. I uh, just rewired it again. Um, these two are for, or in a, the white and the blue one is for starting it. The yellow one is for shutting it off. Um, Back in there, you see the solenoid. It is mounted up higher, and it, yes, it has silicone on it, but the silicone is on there from where I thought maybe I could put that on there and it help waterproof it, and that didn't work out too good, but for those of you that was wanting to know what kind of mower this is, right there. But yeah. I don't know anything much about it. Um, it's a wizard because it had a wizard, uh, little wizard decal thing on it, and but it has a peerless rear end. Um, has a peerless 800 series rear end. But anyway, but yeah, I thought that I could just do that and that would help waterproof it, but. Yeah, it looks like looks terrible, and I wish I hadn't have done that. But, but whatever. It's up high now. It was down low, but to what this is, um, it is my throttle, but it's not going to be mounted there um, for much longer. It's because this thing, this cable, was too short to run all the way over here without kinking up. And not working right so I just ran it to here with a little socket and a bolt and let me show you a little on that um, right there's the old governor at the end of my finger right there um, I unhooked it I unhooked it and just ran a cable cable over to the plastic thing there and then it runs up there and as you can see, that's how that works. And it just runs over here. There's spring springs, one of the ones because I didn't have one long enough. That runs over to that, so it is not governed governed anymore, or whatever to have, or whatever it's set at whenever you get it from factory. Um, I don't know if it's going to blow it up running it like that or what's going to happen. But uh, if you do do that, um, do it at your own risk. Um, it can blow up your motor. Um, but yeah, I've yet to run it like that. Um, been waiting on a little bit of gas and some fuel line. But thanks for watching. I'll hire you later.